know, I want to write about men who are steady. I want to write about men who know what they want. I want to write about men who don't want a woman who feels like she has to sort of dim her herself or dim yeah. her light to be a part of their lives. Right. And, and, and I've never felt like in any way, like with my husband that I've, I've ever had to like dim who I am to make him happy. And, uh, and I don't, you know, if I'm sure like if he were to come in here now, like, and he won't, cause he hates being on camera, he'll be like, no, 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 don't put me into this. But he will also say that he likes me as I am. And he, mm -hmm. you know, even all the, the, the parts of me that he probably thinks are crazy and like, just like, <laughs> Like the, the Philadelphian enemy who's just like sort of like sometimes goes, whoa, okay, oh, I can see this about everything. Um, but it's like he said to me, like, you know, we suit each other so well, and, and we do. And it's, and I think that's the thing. Like, I, I wanted to write about people who find, you know, like the ancient Greeks used to talk about like how you find like each person starts off as a half and then you find that other half and then you're whole. I think that for both of us, that's how it was. Like we were kind of rolling around looking for that other half and mm -hmm. then we found each other because I feel, I really do feel like, I mean, if he were to, if, if our relationship were to completely implode tomorrow, mm -hmm. I can't really picture myself being with someone else Mm -hmm. other than him um even when i know there are those times when i'm being super annoying for him or he's being super annoying for me i still feel like we sort of fit together in a way that i never fit with anybody else and that he said he never fit with anybody else so I, I guess in a way I we did sort of I, maybe I did write him into my life without even realizing it because I was always saying to myself like looking at my parents relationship looking at the relationships of people around me like I don't want that that and that in my life I want this this and this and then all of a sudden there he was <coughs> showed up <laughs> you just wanted the lucky ones that showed up early right <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh you, God. thank you to the <laughs> gods of fate. <laughs> For real life women. Yeah. What, how do they create romance in their lives? I think um, sometimes you just, you have to ask yourself, what is it that you actually want? Mm -hmm. And I think... Uh, a lot of people don't really know what they want. And and even for me, I mean, okay, I'm 51 now and I still don't always know what I want, but I, I also know what I'm not, what I don't want. Mm -hmm. And you have to be willing to tell people what you do and don't want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think, uh, so if you feel like, you know, you want romance, like, you know, you want the big gestures and everything. You have to tell the person that you're having a relationship with, that that's what you want. Because mm -hmm. they don't always know that. You know, we just assume that they know right. what's in our mind. And that's something that's taking me a long time to realize. Like, and being together with a Nordic man, they like things to be very clear. <laughs> you <laughs> have to tell them these things. One and what do you want? <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. So like, I, I remember one time my husband said to me, I don't know what you want. And I was like thinking, well, we've been together all these years and you don't know what I want. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll just tell him. So I was like, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. And then you get it. You yeah. know? And, and, uh, and to be clear about it and, and to, to not assume that the other person can read your mind because they can't. Um, you know, unfortunately we've all sort of been led to believe growing Ray up watched by rom coms. Not just rom coms, but <laughs> even like our parents like sometimes make us think that uh that you're gonna meet that person and they're gonna know you inside out. Right. No. Yeah. They won't. Um you and and that you have to that you should like you have to actually tell people what you want 
what what you see as their, your expectations of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, um, and to be clear about that from the start. So like, uh, I think whether it's a character I'm writing in my book or if I'm just thinking about my own life, it's like having to tell that person, this is what I want. Right. Uh, and, or this is what I would like to have. And can you provide that? Mm-hmm. And if you can't, if you can't vocalize those things then you can't assume that that other person is gonna know that's what you want. I mean, you might get lucky and you might meet that person who's telepathic or whatever and, and can read your mind, but For rare uses. That, that's, that's very rare. And, uh, and, and I think like um, just recently tell, like, talking to another friend of mine who's, she's together with a Nordic man and they've been together for about 15 years. And she said, like she told him recently that he keeps like cooking food that she doesn't actually like because he thought it was her favorite dish because when they first met she pretended that she liked it because she didn't want to hurt his feelings so he thought like if I keep making this thing once a week every week it will remind her of when we first met and she finally had to tell him I really hate that (laughs) (laughs) please don't make it anymore because I don't like it I don't and it's really interesting. Like, so what I hear you saying is the foundation of romance is very practical. It is. You have to just tell people what you want. What you want. And it's really interesting too, because when we uh, setting traditional Tantra, that's the thing we talk about. What's the difference between intimacy and play? In most yeah. cases, we are playing in a relationship. So it's like two egos coming together and doing the, you know. Yeah versus two authentic beings coming together and connecting there Mm -hmm. uh, and being honest and open about who they are and communicating that. So, and and I love the fact that you say that it's, you know, like romance, the basis of romance is is practical. It's absolutely practical. Venus is a sign, is a a planet that she rules two signs. One is earth and one is air. (laughs) So that just tells me, that that's how you get that's how you get romance yeah and i think like everybody thinks it's always going to be about the big gestures and everything and then they forget about like well once the big gestures are over then what what do you have left Mm -hmm. and and i think like you know like i i still remember like (laughs) when my husband asked me to marry him and i didn't even realize he was asking me to marry him (laughs) (laughs) he was just being very practical in a, in a Nordic way, you know, and he was right. just like calling me at work, like, what do you think about this date? And I was like, yeah, that's a good date. And I'm thinking, oh, we're booking a weekend trip. And right. he, he's like looking for a date so we can get married. And then somebody said, what's going on? Your husband, you know, your boyfriend's calling a lot. I'm like, yeah, I think we're booking a weekend trip or something. And then finally, like, he calls me back and he's like, okay, so we're getting married on this date. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I, I, I think like, like, that's, that's two weeks away and, and he's like, yeah but we talked about getting married and I was like yeah I was like you didn't ask and he's like okay well we, I'll ask you during your coffee break so <laughs> okay so then we have you know my coffee break and then he came over to my job and, and I was working at a department store that I was like the assistant manager of a bookstore and sitting in this nice little cafe there and he's like so he says okay the, the, you know shall we get married and blah 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 and it's like and still even then it was like this very like nordic very practical way and i was like thinking to myself but actually this works for me because like i don't need the big gestures i don't need the person who's gonna do like the whole like the and and i was like yeah okay let's do it and so we did and then i like, told my parents that we were getting married and my dad was like but he didn't ask my permission and i'm like i'm not chattel I don't need your permission I'm an adult (laughs) I think I'm a better judge of who I should get married to than you are and so and my dad was like yeah okay I guess you are and and he he liked him anyway so it didn't matter but but still it was like this whole thing of like uh, I realized like I didn't need all those like big gestures so like now when I see people who feel like they need the flash mob to like I'm like, no, because that's not, 
That's not what your relationship is going to be later anyway. You know, I always hate the propose the New Year's Eve and the Valentine's Day proposals. I just be like, they're so tacky. You know, like, oh, yeah. just, <laughs> or like the people, like when they have to do like the the flash mobs thing or yeah. whatever, or the big like like you Billboards. say like the big. I don't see the point of it. Or the same thing like when it's the gender reveals of their babies or whatever. It's like, yeah. no, why do you need to do that? <laughs> and I and I'm a person it. who I I like big gestures, but they need to be original, yes, and authentic and authentic to the 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 man that's doing it, yes. So when I say I like big gestures, I'm not saying I need you to propose to me in New York City when the ball drops or on Valentine's Day in a restaurant of all these people where you hide yeah. the ring. like that. That's not even me. Like no, you, just a. You think we should get married? Yeah, let's do it. I would be yeah. fine with it, right? Yeah. But then there's the other, like the more passionate romantic gestures that I like. But again, it has to be authentic to the person who's doing it and make sense. You know what I mean? Uh, because I think that's why for the longest time I did not like rom-coms was yeah. because it's like this whole like fairy tale thing. And I'm just like, yeah. but you know, <laughs> no I, I know what you mean it's like I, I think back to when I first moved here to Sweden and I was like still trying to get used to how dark it gets here during the oh. winter because mm -hmm. I mean, even though like in Stockholm it's like you still get a few hours of daylight during the winter and everything um, when you first move there and you're used to like the same amount of daylight during the winter as they have in Rome which is like what you would get in Philly right uh, you know, and if you, and for me, like the last three years I lived in the States, I was in Richmond, Virginia. So it's even further South that you're right. used to. And then suddenly you move to a place where like during the, you know, you start noticing in October how dark it's getting mm -hmm. and the sun isn't rising until eight, nine o'clock in the morning. And it's setting at two or three o'clock in the afternoon. And you're just like, oh, <laughs> Thank God I didn't marry a man from up north in Sweden because right. there they have 24 hours of darkness during the winter. And like, and he understood that I was like, that this was getting to me. And, mm -hmm. but he was a PhD student. He didn't have that much money. I was like only working part-time, but still he wanted me to feel better. Yeah. And so, and he also knew like, I want, I really wanted to go to Italy and, 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 uh, so he booked a weekend trip for us to go to Florence at the oh, end of November. My favorite city, my favorite and city. it was like the first time I went to Italy. And then I go to like one of the most beautiful cities so, in Italy. Yeah. And I was just like, oh my God, we landed. It was beautiful. And to me, that small gesture of booking that weekend trip when we didn't have that much money, it wasn't like we were staying at any luxury hotel or anything. It was just like, nice normal cute little sort of pension off that we stayed in walked around he introduced me to his fate like he had been to Florence before and he was like oh you should try this rice ice cream that they have there that they're famous for there and I'd never had it but it was like amazing and then he was just like okay now we're gonna like we can afford to like eat this and this and this but we have to like you know because we need to be a little frugal and I was like I didn't even care all yeah. I cared about was that we were having this experience together. Yes. And um, and both of for both of us, our favorite movie was A Room with a View. And we Love were like it. going around looking for all the sights from a room. And it's so funny because we spent like a whole day looking for a fountain in the movie. So good. And we had walked past that fountain six times already. <laughs> and not realized it. But still, and like then we like, you know, later when we were like okay we haven't found this fountain yet where the heck is this fountain our feet hurt you know and then anyway we were out having going out for dinner that later that night and what did we see walking through that square for the seventh time that day that wow. fountain we both stopped and realized like that's the fountain yeah and it yeah. was just like and just for me like the fact that a he booked that trip and B, 
we had this like great experience together that was like enough for me so for me i don't i don't need the big gestures i don't need that, the, like, so to me that is a big gesture yeah and and for me you know it was I mean? like it, it was a, this wonderful shared experience that we had that meant so much to me and it's like mm -hmm. so whenever even when like there are those moments and i'm sure i'm driving him crazy and he's driving me crazy i think back to that moment and it's like so he did that yeah and then yeah. that's like and that's love yeah. And that's love. Yeah. Exactly.